I mean, are you kidding? YouTube beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about the hidden treasure palette from Dose of Colors. Can I just have a heart attack, please? I will use this palette until the day I die. So originally I saw this on Instagram and Trend Mood and um, Dose of Colors, their Instagram was raving about this. They were posting videos. So they'd go like this to one of the shades look at it on their finger and kind of pull it down. I mean, are you kidding? So originally that's what got me really excited about this palette. I was like, holy crap, this is pigmented. This is gonna be beautiful. So this is the Dose of Colors first eyeshadow palette and I am so happy that I own it. I am so lucky that I got it before it got sold out. Of course, it will be back in stock soon, I'm sure, because the demand is high and everyone's realizing, hey, we need to buy this because it's awesome. So yeah, today I just wanna kind of run over just kind of like a first impressions, a little mini review of kind of what I what my thoughts are on the palette so far and give you guys some swatches. So first off, it does come in this packaging and it kind of reminds me of the Coastal Scents packaging a little bit. Um, it is kind of more of a cardboard case, but that's okay because it makes it really easy to travel with. And on the front, it just says Hidden Treasures Palette, and in the side, it just says Dose of Colors. On the top, it does have a mirror, and then you can flip it back. And here are the eyeshadows. So there are 10 eyeshadows in this palette, and this palette goes for $50. So that's basically paying $5 per shadow, which I don't think is ridiculous because ColourPop's eyeshadows are five dollars. So what first intrigued me about this palette is the metallics in it. I was so excited to see what goodness and what formula they came up with to make these metallic shades. In this palette there are ten shades. The first one is called Coin. The next one is Pearl. Next is Key. Next is Crown. Next is Ruby. Next is Gemstone. Next is Onyx, and it is just a pure black. Next is Map. Next is Locket. And lastly is Diamond. So overall, I think this palette is awesome. I think that it is totally worth $50. There was some speculation on whether it was worth the, the amount of money that they were asking for, and in my opinion, it totally is. You barely touch the metallic colors and you get immense color payoff. So I think it is very versatile. It's easy to do multiple different looks with the same palette. And that's what I do really like about this palette. But Dose of Colors, you did an awesome, awesome job in formulating your first palette. And I am so, so excited to see what you come out with next. And yes, I will be buying that as well. I did do a look based on this palette um, just to kind of give a demonstration of the way the eyeshadows apply and stuff like that is this look that I'm wearing on my eyes right now. So that's all I really have to say about starting out this video and let's just jump into the demonstration. So I do already have my face makeup done because I didn't see the point in doing it when it's not related to this palette. First I am going to take this color right here and this is called map and it is just kind of like oh it's really buttery ah! it looks like this it's just kind of like a pale beigey color i'm just gonna take this on a big fluffy brush right off the bat these these colors are very buttery i wasn't really expecting it to be this this buttery this soft and kind of this pigmented next we're gonna go into this shade right here and it's called lock it it's just it kind of reminds me of like the colors from the sweet or semi-sweet chocolate bar palette and I'm just gonna pop that in the crease just to make it a little more um, more of a warm look just right off the bat these these may be my favorite matte eyeshadows ever. I'm gonna take this domed little contour brush 
and dip it into this shade right here and it is called key and I'm just putting that on the outside uh, V of my eye just to give it a little bit more depth so I think the metallic shadow that I'm gonna use just to give that wow look in this um, I look is this one right here and it's called diamond this is kind of the first one that I gravitated towards when I got the palette anyway let's see how this goes on without any Mac fix plus or anything all right I'm just gonna just a heads up there's some fallout <laughs> so if you can see on camera it is it almost kind of reminds me of a pigment, like a pigment pressed into an eyeshadow. That's kind of what it reminds me of. It's kind of, um, it has a lot of fallout and it looks like individual little specked particles rather than a normal eyeshadow. I'm just gonna pat it on because this is kind of the consistency that I would put um, a pigment on my eye. So this, is fallout so I was right about that but I should not have done my foundation first I'm gonna try to put it on maybe just with my hand so this is the eye that I used a brush with and as you can see I have a ton of fallout here it just kind of like fell off my brush but this side I used my finger and it went on perfectly this is something I would apply strictly with my finger and not with my brush because I feel like the brush kind of breaks up the eyeshadow if that makes any sense like the bristles are too rough for the eyeshadow so it just kind of falls in consistency are a little different than the ColourPop eyeshadows but I would compare them um, application wise to the way you would apply the ColourPop eyeshadow I'm just gonna take a flat definer brush and go in with lock it and key right here and just kind of mix them so it wasn't too bad to do a wing on this eye look just throwing that out there I did have a little bit of a concern that it was going to um, the pieciness of the eyeshadow was going to interact with how I did my winged liner a little bit And lastly, I am just going to put this shade called Pearl in my inner corners and on my uh, brow bone. So here is the finished eye look. So that is the completed look that I came up with for this palette. I am so, so, I am in love with this palette. I cannot believe how pigmented the metallic shades are, how buttery and beautiful and blendable the matte shades are. These are probably one of my favorite matte eyeshadow formulas just because they're so, so buttery and they're so easy to blend. Now, something I do want to address is I was kind of on that bandwagon. Um, actually, if you don't already, you should go follow Trend Mood, and it's just Trend, like T-R-E-N-D, M-O-O-D, and they're kind of like a beauty blog type website, and they have an Instagram, and they post tons and tons of new makeup that's launching I never knew existed. I just found out about this, this blog like a week ago um, when I started looking for this palette. Cause I didn't know when it was gonna come out and I saw a lot of people on there kind of giving a lot of hate towards this palette um, a lot of people were saying that they didn't get why um, dose of colors kind of arranged their palette like this and I think it's so different you know you always kind of get the palettes that's like shadow 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 you know they're just they're not unique I love the way that this palette is organized I think it's so creative and different obviously my favorite ones are the metallic ones but I don't think I've ever liked 
a matte eyeshadow as much as I do these. Mattes just don't really, they don't really give me much to talk about. Um, they're not really something that I look for in a palette, and I was pleasantly surprised that. So yeah, that is my full review about this palette. I love this palette. I am so excited to use it in the future. I think it's totally worth spending $50 on because you get you get better quality, in my opinion, than any of the Naked palettes. I think that these are such high quality eyeshadows. You set the bar high, dose of colors. That is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below and, th and tell me what you thought about this palette if you have it yourself or if, you know, maybe my review um, kind of tempted you to go check it out. Um, I think it is sold out right now, but it'll come back in stock, don't worry. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you have a great day or night, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!